Well guys, I just fell in. Oh yeah, we got we got like seven, eight inches. That's right guys, we're out ice fishing again. Thanks for tuning in. We're out a couple weeks after the last time I was here and the weather is 100% different. We've got temperatures in the mid 40s where last time it was about zero. There's virtually no wind. I don't have my bibs on and I'm pretty excited about that. This weather is awesome, but I stupidly forgot that I wanted to fish tip-ups today and forgot when I went to the bait store to get minnows. So all I've got are waxies and spikes, unfortunately, but we've been doing pretty well on them lately so far. So we're going to call this basically ice fishing 101. This is really back to the basic stuff. Just jigging. I've got a little tungsten jig and I've got a Swedish pimple and that's it. We're going to be tipping those with some waxies, some spikes, and hopefully catching some big old LMBs. Let's see what we can catch. Follow me along. All right, so I just dropped that transducer down. I see no activity. We're in about six feet of water. I know this spot is right along a weed edge. So maybe we'll see if we can coax one of these big old bass to come on out after this pimple. So here's what I'm doing. Got this tiny little Swedish pimple. Taking one wax worm, putting Ted right behind that hook. And there we go. That's the rig. All right, now let's drop it down. Back my bucket up. Just doing some jigging motions. Man, is this weather gorgeous. I really hope the fishing's good today too because it would be a shame for fishing to be bad on a weather day like today. I don't think we get too many days in the winter where we've got very safe ice and temperatures like this. This is just awesome. All right, we're gonna leave that rod right there. We're gonna go drill a couple more holes. That ice is thick. Let's bring this over here. See what the depth is. It's like five foot deeper. Oh, big mark. Big mark. There we go. Come on. Oh, gotta be a bass. Gotta be a bass. Oh, yeah. Big mark. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. It's not a huge bass, but it's one I'll take. There we go. Just need to change spots. It's a nice little fish on the pimple. All right, guys, there we go. There's our first, first fish and first bass of the day. They just dropped down in that hole. That was that first drop down and he smoked it. Not a huge fish, a little three quarter pounder, but hey, I'll take any bass I can get in the winter. This is, this is awesome. Beautiful weather, catching bass through the ice, nothing better. All right, let's let this little guy go. Oh, he was so good. He wasn't going anywhere. Oh, man. Woo, there she goes. Sweet. Let's get another one. All right, since she smoked, oh, that's right, I got him on me. No, I don't. Where, where's my bait? All right, let's drop down back in this hole and see what else is over here. I might have to play a little hole switcheroo today. I might have to change it up a bunch because really there was nothing on this, nothing on the sonar before. And that fish came out of nowhere and was on it instantly. So maybe these fish are roaming. Let's give it another hole shot. I think we're going to be drilling a lot of holes today. Ooh, two good marks. These might be bluegill. Ooh, I had them. I got a piece of them. This hook is a little bent out. I wonder if that's why. I have a feeling they're bluegill. It's all right. They're bigger marks, so maybe they're bigger bluegill. Never mind the fact that I have yet to see a big bluegill in this lake. And there's a mark already. Small one. Oh, I had him all the way. He's in, he, he literally was in the hole. All right, let's go back to the other hole. Man, these fish do not want to bite. There we go. 
No! Oh, no! Oh, that was a bass. For sure. She never bit it fully. I just felt a little bit of pressure on the line. All right, we're gonna move. We have to come back to that spot. Shoot. These fish are not very aggressive to it. Oh, wait. How did I miss that? There we go. All right, first bluegill of the day. Not a bad one. Not a giant though. Not what we're after. We're after some bass. Not bad. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the bucket and we're gonna move. I'm gonna go right back to this hole. Right where I just lost that one. There's a fish, he's coming up. Here he comes, and there he goes. Now for those of you wondering what the difference is between a spike and a waxworm, I don't know. Spikes are smaller, waxworms are bigger. I feel like spikes stay on the hook a little bit better. Waxworms seem to be pretty popular with the fish though. Spikes not as much. Where did those fish go? There were just fish here, and now they're all gone. Okay. Well, let's move holes again. Yeah, we definitely need to drill some more holes. These three are not the answer. We got one bass and one bluegill. That is not what I was looking for today. We we're looking for a lot more fish. Okay, deepest spot yet, 10 and a half feet. Oh, come on, I had him. There we go, I got something. Small little bluegill. Attempted to throw them, uh, him out as bait. I should have gone and set him up on a tip-up. Why, did, why didn't I do that? That was so dumb. God, actually, the tip-up was literally directly underneath me. I had it in my bucket that I'm sitting on. Ah, that was stupid. I should have just kept him. Well, there's a good mark right, early, right away on the bottom. Two seconds too late. I'm going to switch lakes in a little bit. If we don't get anything here, I'm just going to go across the street. Nothing. Wow, this is disappointing. If you're wondering, yes, this sled is new. finally realized that having a sled would just make things so much easier. As I say that, and then I get my hook stuck in the rope. I got him. Oh, it's a good sized gill. That's not bad. He's not huge, but for this lake, that ain't bad. I got him to rise from nine feet all the way up to five feet. Got something. I got something. Another little bluegill. Came straight off the bottom. I kept plopping it on the bottom. Finally, I rose it up and dead sticked it, and he wanted it. We're gonna go to the other lake. Cause sadly, we're starting to run out of time. Okay, lake number two. I lost something. My bucket lid fell off. I have yet to catch a big fish in this lake. Caught some bass. All of them have been tiny. However, I know that there are big bass in here. In fact, one of my biggest fish this last year was caught in this lake, very close to here. Come on. Oh, crappie. Yes, crappie. I knew that there was some crappie in here. thought it might be crappie because it's in the middle of the water column. Bass don't typically hang out there. And bluegill don't typically hang out there. And there's another one down there, too. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Right there. I got something. Oh, another big, big bluegill. Hey, there's, there's the biggest bluegill yet. It's funny. These fish are right in the middle. They're about six, seven, eight feet down. That's a nice skill. I'll take that. I want another crappie. Let's get some bigger crappie. I've been waiting. I caught some crappie in the uh, the other lake last year. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, yes, yes. This is the biggest bluegill I've caught 
out of this lake ever. Look at that. That's like a, a two-hander. That is a good fish. I like fishing for those. I got something. Hey, <laughs> it's a little pass. So wait. Told you this lake is just full of giant bass. <laughs> I have to get a couple pictures of that. Oh, he man, he he inhaled this thing too. Little guy. I don't know if you can see this. Look at that. There's the bottom. Those are all fish. Come on. Oh, I'm off. I'm moving. This isn't that fun. These are all small fish. I'd rather go back to the hole I was just at before. Because at least there were some bigger fish there. Come on. Hey, this is another one of those shiners. Just like the last video. Wow, look at this thing. Look at that, that's crazy. All right guys, this is actually two videos in a row here where I've caught one of these. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, again, we think it's a golden shiner. Although if you check my Instagram feed, when I posted a picture of this, I got about like 40 different types of fish. So there's a lot of experts out there. But I'm pretty sure this is a golden shiner. I didn't know these things existed in this lake. Um, but the fact that I've caught two, two trips out here in a row is, really interesting and makes me think for the summer I might need to throw something that looks like this because that that is a big bass bait right there if it was catching smaller ones I would throw this on the tip up but oh well man that's crazy Got more fish on the uh, the flasher what do I get oh big gill and it's another big, big gill. This is fun. I like catching gill that size. Another gill. I feel like I could just catch these all day long here. This is what I've been looking for all day. It's just a spot where, oh, come on bud. Come on, let's go. There you go. Got another one, all right. We're gonna move. You go try one of those other holes. I got something. Oh, crappie. All right, fellas. Just got myself another crappie here. That lens is terrible. Yeah, but nice little crappie. So wait. Little guy. Crappie are aggressive. That's why I like them. Like, they just go after it. I got something. Something good. Oh, another crappie. I love catching crappie. These are definitely not big. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Still another species. All right, guys. That's going to be it for the day. We got like 20, 30 little bluegill, uh, two bass, three carapi, and one golden shiner. So it's a pretty diverse day, but nothing big, unfortunately. Nothing big at all. I'm going to head over to that other lake across the way. Maybe, maybe get lucky and find a bass, but otherwise it's getting cold. Sun's going down. My fingers are starting to feel it. And thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like below. And definitely leave a comment. Uh, if there's something you want to see me do, let me know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Winnie City Bassin. Signing out. All right, let's go just drop a couple lines across the street and call it a night. Tell you what, getting one of these sleds was a great idea. Seriously, having one of these sleds made that a thousand times easier. All we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the flasher and the rod, and that's it. We're not gonna sit, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna go out here and see if anything will bite in some of these holes from earlier. And then we're gonna go. I got something. Bluegill. All right, some of these bluegill have popped up over here. Not what we're after. Let's go to this next hole here. Screw you. All right, one more hole. Oh, look at that mark. Oh, another crappie. Dude, he choked it. Yeah, there we go. 
That's not a giant. Man, there's another mark right in the middle. Something. Another crappie. Okay, I found some crappie here. Man, they are just choking this thing. These are like fish in the middle of the water column. I'm just jigging, giving it some rapid up and down jigging motions. They seem to be hitting it on the fall. Oh, like right there. Oh, God. Got something. Another crappie. Wow. I'm on the crappie now. Oh, man. Buddy, you swallowed this thing. There we go. Another crappie. They're not big. These are not big fish at all. I got something. Another crappie. Jeez, they're choking it. This is the most crappie I've ever caught in one day. Yeah, big bluegill. I didn't expect that. There's another good mark down there, though. I've got something. It's a tiny little bluegill. All right, we're going to go. That's good enough for me. Well guys, I just fell in. <laughs>